welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Um, I'm not really sure what message I'm going to get yet. I was thinking I would let Spirit decide. Just been kind of winging it lately because nobody will comment and tell me what they want me to read about. <laughs> In fact, nobody talks to me at all anymore. I guess they don't like me. I'm just kidding. But thank you for watching. I appreciate your support and all of your views and for those who are subscribed thank you for that that means a lot to me it lets me know that what i'm doing is useful all right so let's see <clears throat> holy spirit what do you want to do this morning talk to me talk to me can i get a message out of this book please what message do you have out of this book Your tears matter to God. You keep track of all my sorrows. You have collected all my tears in your bottle. You have recorded each one in your book. Psalm 56, 8. God, thank you for the gift of tears, for a way of letting our emotions show and flow in the hard moments. You aren't telling us to keep things together. Instead, you're keeping us close to your heart, especially when we're hurting. You're our comfort and our hope, our help and strength, the caretaker of our tears and all that concerns us. Our sorrow is safe with you. Amen. <clears throat> if you could read a record of your tears, what would it contain? You probably can't even remember each one you've shed or why, but it seems God does. David trusts that all of his tears are in God's record. Why do we write things down? because we want to remember, because they are important to us, because they tell a story. Perhaps all of these are reasons why God keeps our tears in his record. It's his way of telling us, your tears are not just water and salt to me, they are part of who you are. I value them because I love you. God gives attention to our tears. In doing so, he affirms that it's okay to cry, Yes, even the mascara smearing, snot dripping kind of cry. I think God sees extraordinary beauty in our ugly cry. That kind of crying is what it looks like when a human heart is laid bare and open. It's what we do when we stop trying so hard to be strong. It's our way of saying, this is too much for me. It's, dare I say it, an act of worship because we finally let ourselves be human who God who be humans who need God. So go ahead and let loose. Cry when you're sad, cry when you're happy, cry when you're angry. Let's dare to tell the story of our lives through our tears and remember that God, the author of life, is treasuring each one. What your heart's what your heart needs for hard days. Okay. So this is saying to me that somebody is going through a really hard time and God just wants to remind you that he keeps track of our tears. He bottles our tears. You keep track of my sorrows. You have collected all my tears in a bottle. You have recorded each one for your book. So there's someone in the collective that's going through a hard time right now. And God wants you to know that you have not been forgotten. That, in fact, all of your tears have been collected by God and placed somewhere special. He bottles up our tears. He knows that we are hurting. And he cares about those pains that we're feeling. Holy Spirit, I ask that you please lead God and direct me. Could you please help me to to get a message for whoever is going through these struggles, to bring encouragement, to lighten their load, to help them to be able to push through another day. Thank you that you are close to the brokenhearted, and especially when we're going through the trials and the tribulations, the dark night of the soul. You care about us. You care about our pain. You care about our joys. You're there for us through it all. And please help me to see the situation that I need to see. To bring whatever needs to be brought out so that healing can begin 
or continue for whoever it is that's going through these struggles in their life. And I thank you for giving me the privilege and the honor of reaching you through this, this means, through these cards, through spiritual gifts that I can't explain but I know are real. And I embrace it. I thank you. I thank you for those who watch. And I pray that you would just pour out your blessings upon us as we channel together. It protect us protect us and connect us by our spiritual gifts to receive a message today in jesus name amen all right so let me check the energy somebody's struggling right now they're having a hard time it sounds like to me there's some a lot of crying going on it could be a number of us that are in pain right now you could have someone in your family who's sick you could be in an abusive relationship you could be sick. You could be the abuser. I mean, there's all kinds of things. Maybe you don't like the, the fact that you're abusive. Maybe you hate that, but you just don't have any control. Maybe you have an addiction and you're tired of living every day to get more drugs or more pornography. Or maybe you have an eating disorder and you're unable to have a healthy relationship with food. Maybe you're out of work and you have children and the holidays are coming and you don't know how you're going to provide for your children. Even the basic necessities, much less extraordinary things like Christmas gifts. <sighs> Whatever you're going through, God is aware of your situation, I promise you. And it may feel like nothing is being done to help you to get out of this desperate situation that you find yourself in. But I assure you that God cares and will show up. You have angels around you. And I ask that they would make themselves real to you. And that they would show you that they're there with you in some way. That they would give you signs that would let you know that you are never alone. That God is always with you. No matter what you're going through, God does care about you. And will provide for all of your needs according to his riches. Okay, Spirit, I need your help with this reading. Can you please help me to get a message for whoever it is that's struggling with these tears, who's, who's sad? Let's start with the virtues and see how Spirit is working in your situation. Contentment. Contentment. Being satisfied with what God has given you. And faith. Having faith. Knowing, loving, and following whatever it is that you believe in. And in this case, it says Jesus, and that's who I follow. But you're welcome to follow whoever you'd like. And integrity. Doing what's right when no one is looking. And isn't it hard sometimes to have integrity and to be content and to have faith when your pain is so intense? When your heart is truly, truly broken? <clears throat> May I have the overall tarot energy of how you're working in this situation for whoever it is that finds themselves heartbroken today? What is the main way that you're working? The lovers came out. We have Gemini here. Gemini, you're showing up already. All right, what's not working? What's not working? Temperance. We have Sagittarius also showing up here. And how do we pull this together, Spirit? The world. You're going to get over this. You're going to have closure somehow. And charity, unconditional love on the bottom of the deck. Already we have a beautiful message coming through here. We have Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. We have Sagittarius. We have Gemini. And we have unconditional love. Okay? All right, angels, can you show me how you're working in this situation today? How are you working? Surrender and courage. Spirit is helping you to surrender and to have courage. Surrender is giving up, giving in. Allowing God to come into our situation and help us in our weakest, most desperate times. It's like, you know, when you surrender, 
you're not going to surrender easily. If, if you're like being pursued, which God is pursuing us, but if you're being pursued by the police, you're not going to just surrender. You're going to run and you're going to run and you're going to run until you can't run anymore. And you're going to hide and you're going to do everything you can to not have to give up, to not have to be caught to not have to allow them to take control of you and of your situation because you feel like you're afraid. You're, you're terrified of surrender. But in this case, the person who's pursuing you is God. God is pursuing you and God is saying, I'm going to give you the courage to surrender to me. You've been running and running and running and running and running and You've been hiding from me, and I just want you to stop running, and I'm going to have to help you with the courage to surrender and stop this running. Leo is also here. And you might need to be united with someone. You might need to be reunited with family. You could have some broken relationships here. All right, what else? How are the angels helping in this situation? So the, the Holy Spirit is helping you have courage to surrender. And also, the Holy Spirit is resurrecting your life. Resurrecting. You're having resurrection and blessings as well. So your situation might seem dead, like there's no hope. But Spirit is saying, I'm going to resurrect this from the dead and give you blessings on top of it with partnership on the bottom of the deck. So maybe you do need to partner up with somebody. All right. Anything else the angels might be doing for this individual who is crying and finds themselves struggling? Spirit says, I'm going to give you peace. Peace that you can't even understand in a situation that might seem hopeless. You're going to have the courage to surrender. You're going to be resurrected and have blessings. And I'm going to give you peace and adoration on the bottom of the deck. Maybe you're sick and you're not wanting to take medication for this illness. And there's an angel that's trying to offer you a flower. You look very scared. You could have blondish red hair or like sandy blonde hair. Somebody definitely has some blonde hair. I see also some brown and some black hair here. Somebody has facial hair like a beard and mustache. You might have a painting of cherubs in your home like... The last kiss, the first kiss, one of those type things, Michelangelo. How else are the angels helping this person's spirit? Somebody has red hair for sure. There's going to be a divine plan in all of this. There is a divine plan for you, even in this pain that you're going through. And pa passion, fire, fire. One more time, spirit says. Help us, Spirit, with this message. Can you please? There's purple flowers showing up. Spirit is going to put people, places, and things exactly where you need them to help you out of this place that you've been stuck in. And you might work in a metal building or in a garage with a garage door. You might have a home with a garage. I see a garage door for some reason. You might be in the garage right now. Somebody has recently been to the doctor or to a doctor's appointment, or you might have one coming up. And you're definitely taking some kind of medication with music. I'm, I'm feeling some kind of way right now, like really anxious and shaky. Truth and beauty. The angels are going to help you to know how beautiful you are. The truth about yourself and how beautiful you are and how powerful you are. One more time. You have a guardian angel. You have a guardian angel. There's that blonde hair again. And mercy. Giving you mercy as well. Okay. Alright, Spirit. Talk to me for this person. How can you help this person today, Spirit? I need you to do your miraculous 
stuff here. Use your mind wisely. Uh-oh, we have a card here that doesn't belong. We have a bunch of cards in here that don't belong. Let's see what we found. Trust, psychic abilities, and healing. So somebody needs healing, and you may, you may, you may have psychic abilities. The Spirit is wanting you to trust psychic abilities and healing. Okay. You must be very intuitive. You have a very intuitive mind. Use your mind wisely and act as if. So Spirit is indicating to you that you have to change the way you think. Because right now your, your mind is, is very hurt. And it's hard, isn't it, to think as if there's always enough. And use your mind wisely. So maybe you feel like God has forgotten about you. And you just can't seem to get things going in a positive direction. Turn knowledge into wisdom. There's always enough. It feels like to me that you are struggling financially for some reason. Okay, Holy Spirit, I need you to do your magic. I need oracle messages, please, if you will, for this individual. What message do you have for whoever this is that's struggling? We have the crow and the deer showing up. The crow came out in reverse, and that's about co-creating with spirit. That's about you thinking positively and having a positive mindset because we do co-create with spirit. Spirit gives us the desires of our heart, and then those desires, when we pray and ask God to bring about those desires and we set our mind on things that are positive, that is what we have in return but for some reason you're not able to do that and for some reason bring a gentle touch is here so we have eight and nine showing up here you're almost at the end of this difficult thing you've been going through somehow you need somebody that will be gentle with you you need somebody to be gentle you need gentleness to be brought to your life about this. Maybe you're really struggling right now and you don't need to be browbeaten or you don't need to be reminded about how much dysfunction is going on. You just need somebody to gently remind you that God does care and act as if. Act as if. All right, what else, Spirit? Somehow black crows are significant here. Love is all around. See the big picture. Spirit has a plan. So, love is all around came out upright. That's the nightingale spirit. You have the nightingale, the giraffe, and the koala. But for some reason, you're not able to see the big picture. And you don't realize that Spirit has a plan. You, you've been hurt, you've been wounded, and you don't, you don't feel like this is true anymore. I think at one time you may have thought that this was true, and life just got so hard. Life just got so out of control for you that you no longer see this. <coughs> Let's see. Let's see. Let's get you some messages messages spirit can I get messages for whoever this is may I please have some encouragement for whoever this is thank you so very much encourage one another build each other up 1 Thessalonians 5 11 the Lord bless you and keep you number 6 24 so you need encouragement you need to be built up you need to know how beautiful you are and how special you are and how precious you are. Look, I have an anchor. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. I thank my God every time I remember you. Uh, you may have done a lot of good for others in your life, and when people think about you, they think about all the good 
that you've done for them. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. His banner love over me is. So God wants you to know that you have a banner of love over you. And to just be still right now. Bring this gentle touch, Spirit. Spirit is saying where you're not able to manifest right now because of this pain you're in i want to touch you gently spirit wants you to, to want you to know that spirit is there gently comforting you be still and just know that that spirit is there love 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 i have loved you with an everlasting love spirit says the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. You might ride a bicycle. You, Lord, are a shield around me. The Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Count it all joy when you fall into different kinds of temptation. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer, here it says. And on the bottom of the deck is, be not afraid, only believe. Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul, and healthy for the body. And I think that that's what you need right now is a lot of kindness and some somebody to be gentle with you and to love you in your, in your pain. Just to be there for you in this difficult time while you're going through so much tribulation. We all go through tribulation in life when we're in a lot of pain. Okay, Spirit. Any more messages out of here? Because right now, Spirit saying love is all around you. And you might be getting comfort from music. You might also enjoy lo looking at birds while you're outside. Somehow birds. But Spirit is saying love is all around. I want you to see the big picture and know that I have a plan. And I want you to take a leap of faith. Spirit wants you to take a leap of faith. Can we get a message about taking a leap of faith? The miracles are endless as in reverse here. Truth transcends illusion. So we have a cow and a dragonfly. Number 15 and number 22 or number 6 and 4. Spirit is saying you don't see that the miracles are endless. You've lost the ability to see that. There's been a disconnection somehow. But I am going to help you to see through the illusions because my truth transcends the lies. And give with gratitude and grace the turkey spirit, number six, one, or number seven. All right, talk to us about this transcending illusion spirit. Talk to this person about how they can get through this. How can they move through this? Take the lead. Bring your ideas to life. Tend to the small things. Think on your feet. Make your dreams real and dream the world into being. So we see here that Spirit wants you to take the lead. And you have some ideas. You have some ideas that need to be brought to life. And you also have some small things that you need to tend to. Think on your feet. It's time to get up. It's time to get up off of that couch. Get up out of that bed and stop allowing the depression to rule your life. Stop allowing this sadness, this difficulty, this pain to take over your life. You have to get up and fight. This, this is what it's going to take to make these dreams of yours real and dream this world into being. And sweet results await when you do that. But somehow you have to find this courage. They were going to give you the courage to surrender. You have to surrender to win. Give up. Don't fight anymore. 
and allow spirit to help you through these difficult times. Yes, you can trust spirit. Yes, you have psychic abilities and spirit wants to heal you. All right, so we have a choice to be in control of ourselves and overcome something. Everything here looks beautiful. Everything does. You've just kind of lost your trust. You've just gotten a little bit off center. You're off center just a little. And the best way if you get off center like that is to get outside of yourself. Get up, take a shower, go outside, enjoy the fresh air. Sit down somewhere and listen. Pray and listen for the answers to come. Spirit is trying to speak to you today. I feel that strongly. This is a very different message, and it doesn't feel like a love message at all. It, it's about, it is, it's the, the great, it's the greatest love message of all, because it's you in spirit, which is the main reason why we're here. All right, talk to me about shadows here. Not necessarily that this is your shadows, but what shadows message can you give this person, spirit? Speak to this person through the shadow card. All right, what message do you have for this person, spirit? Can I get good, strong answers only? Okay, something is one-sided. Something is one-sided. I feel like this is about you and spirit. Like you feel disconnected from spirit. Look, see, this is probably you here. And spirit is saying, let me in, let me in. And there's black crows again. You may have been suicidal. I see there's a sheet around this woman's neck. Please call and get help if you're in that state of mind. All right, what else, Spirit? There's been some manipulation. Manipulation. One-sided and manipulation. Somebody has heavily manipulated you or you have them. There's been some deep, deep manipulation. And I almost feel that you may have been dabbling in some very dark magic of some sort. You may have done this at Halloween. And this backfired. That won't be for everybody, but there's been some manipulation and something is one-sided. What else, spirit? Somebody's dependent. So maybe right now you don't have any money and you're dependent on others. You hate that. You're not used to that. You're looking at your phone, sitting by the window, watching this video possibly, listening to the sound of my voice, and and probably feeling a little cynical. Like, this is bullshit. This is all bullshit. Alright, anything else, Spirit? There's a lot of cards trying to come out. Anything else for this person? Thank you so much. You make excuses. Spirit says that you make excuses for why you're dependent. And there probably are good reasons. That's not the point. There probably are excellent reasons why you ended up in this situation. But making excuses, <clears throat> making excuses will not bring you out of this situation. There's nothing that you can do about the past. You have to leave the past behind and move forward and stop making excuses, okay? All right, anything else, Spirit? You might be disconnected from everything right now. You may have put yourself in isolation from the world because you're angry and you're hurt. You've become stagnant, you've been escaping, and you're unstable. This is a recipe for disaster. Somebody's in real bad shape. And I'm just going to say that you may need to seek the help of a, a professional. You may need to get help for your depression. Because it, in a sense, feels like you have disconnected a little bit mentally. 
if this isn't you, it could be somebody in your life. All right, what else, Spirit? Warning, walking away, guarded, robotic, and medicating. So Spirit is saying, this is a warning. You need to walk away from something. Time for you to walk away from something and protect yourself. You've become robotic and you're medicating or someone else has. Warning, walking away, guarded, robotic, and medicating. When you hear those things, what comes to mind? And repelled. I think you're repelled and distant from the things that actually can help you. Yeah. You're, you're seeking answers maybe in a bottle or in medication of some sort because you're medicating. You're just going through the motions. This is definitely scary and a recipe for disaster, whatever is going on in your life. All right, talk to me about this person's finances, Spirit. Patience and goals. If you're dependent, that means that you probably need a job. Here, what can you say to this person? Unstable and patience. Okay. Health and patience. Maybe somebody's sick. You're unable to work, and that's what's caused you to get in this shape. All right, what would you say to this person about finances and career goals? Be a sport. Okay, we see you're dependent, or somebody's dependent on you. You are being asked to have a more, you are, I'm sorry, you are being asked to have more fun or focus on being a team player. You could be great at any sports career or in the field of health and fitness. Improve your finances by considering working as a team or doing collaborations. So somehow you need to be a sport. And I have unethical on the bottom of the deck. All right, what else? Promoter came out. If there's a new idea or project manifesting, know it has great potential for success. Careers in the nightlife industry, events, or restaurant industry could be right for you. Use the law of attraction for money. Be the energy you want to attract. So be a sport and promoter came out for you with gift on the bottom of the deck. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to make of this. Unreliable came out. Unreliable. There's some confusion regarding money and people are not following through on their promises and not paying you on time. Expected money has not materialized. So maybe you were working with somebody and they weren't paying you. You were working as a team, on somebody's team. You may have been helping to promote somebody and they never paid you what they promised they would pay you. All right, what else? If they're like me, they haven't made any money. I haven't made the first paycheck off of YouTube. <laughs> My bank account is $30 in the negative in that account. <laughs> Peacemaker. You're being called to apply diplomacy and tact to a difficult situation. Consider politics, negotiations, unions, or any peacemaking career. Approach the situation with a win-win outcome and attitude. So somehow you were working with somebody and you were helping with promoting them and they didn't pay you what you thought you were going to make. And Spirit is saying you need to work with this person and make peace here. Somehow you need to talk this out. All right, anything else? Maybe somebody made you a promise. You've made some mistakes. 
A past mistake left you financially insecure and unsure of what to do. Your current financial situation was your own doing. Accept responsibility for it. Learn from your mistakes and let go. You will get through it. This was just a lesson for you to learn. Somehow you need to be a sport and you need to be a promoter because something was unreliable and you need to make peace about it and you've made some mistakes. Okay, what else? Animals is here. You have growth, change, and animals. Growth, change, and animals. So expect good news in money matters or raise or a new job offer. Money will soon start flowing to your blessings, to your business. Promising opportunities are awaiting. So it looks like there's an opportunity for you to get a new job. Spirit wants there to be change. There's a change for the better coming your way. Embrace it. Just because you don't see any movement doesn't mean nothing is happening. Sometimes to see change, we must be the change. And it looks like between fall and winter is when this change is actually going to occur. And also animals. You're being asked to follow your instincts at this time when making decisions. Any career working with animals, having a rescue, or any kind of veterinary field could be of perfect fit for you connect with your power animal to improve your finances and gift someone might give you a gift lend you money or help you in some way you could get a cash bonus you have natural talents gifts and abilities just waiting to be discovered you need to explore them anything else you can say about this situation so it looks like you have had some struggles financially and there's something legal here to do with a business there's something legal. You might need to take care of something legal that has to do with your... You have some legal business you need to tend to. You're in legal trouble. Anything else? Take only what resonates. Encouragement for this person, Spirit. Financial encouragement. How can you encourage this individual or these individuals? Encouragement. Thank you so very much. You've had some setbacks. Your attempts to increase your income have been unsuccessful. Don't lose hope. Use this time to learn from your mistakes. You might be an artist. What else, spirit? What about these setbacks? We need to get, we need to get beyond these setbacks. You have to take some small steps to improve. Spirit wants you to have stability. In order to have stability, um, you have to take control of your finances and then create stability. It's an excellent time to take action on money-related ventures. And that's what it is when it says, um, bring your ideas to life. If you are having setbacks financially, you have to deal with these legal issues. You have to make peace with whoever wasn't on your team here. And you have to make some changes. It's time to make some changes and get stable again. Um, there, you have to make some changes though you, you know God will do his part but we have to do ours and you have to fill out applications if you need a job you know and you have to trust so you have to trust I remember when I went to treatment and I got out of treatment and I went to the halfway house and I was in the halfway house and I had a, a man give me a job at McDonald's but I had to be there at Five in the morning or 4.30 in the morning. I had to be there super, super early. I was making biscuits at McDonald's. And I didn't have any way to get there because there was no bus that I could take that time of day. And I had to ask for help. And I had a lady that was a volunteer at the rescue mission working with the, um, the women that were going through recovery there. And she offered to give me a ride she picked me up at like 3 30 in the morning took me to work and then she picked me up after work and took me to her house and she had a chicken farm and once i got off work after making biscuits until two o'clock in the afternoon from like 4 a.m to 2 to 2 p.m i worked making biscuits when i got or making biscuits and cleaning up i was the dishwasher at mcdonald's for god's sake she would pick me up and take me to her house, and she had 600 chickens. <laughs> chickens are the nastiest animals ever. 
And I see animals here also for you, which is why it makes me think of this. <clears throat> but she would let me go to her house, and she would let me um, feed and clean out her chicken coops. And she paid me $10 an hour, I think it was. I don't remember what she paid me. I think it was $10 an hour to clean nasty-ass chicken coops. The most disgusting job I've ever done in my life. Have you ever smelled a rotten egg in 102 degree weather in South Carolina? Jesus, have mercy. Well, I did it. And the reason why I did it is because I had no driver's license. And I had to pay my attorney so that I could get my driver's license back. And so I worked at McDonald's and I worked in a chicken farm. <laughs> taking care of chickens till I could get my license back and get back on my feet. So there are some things that you are going to have to do for your stability to come. And it might be a lot of shit you don't want to do, like literal shit. Maybe there's a chicken farm or a hog farm because I see a pig here. Maybe you're going to have to work at a hog farm. <laughs> but if you want to go to the next level, you have to do things you don't want to do. You're going to have to. That's how it works. All right, Spirit, enough. I'm going to try and be gentle, but sometimes we have to get up off of our ass and do something. All right. Messages from the dream cards. Life is at your service. You are worthy of everything you desire. Give life permission to create through you and become visible through your dreams. All right, what else, Spirit? Messages for whoever's struggling here. Whoa. It takes courage to pursue your dreams. It takes courage to be who you are, to do what feels right. It takes courage to face the fears that have the power to hold you back. Be brave and the world will be yours. What would you need to give up in order to achieve your dream? In your heart, you know what's good for you and what makes you excited to be alive day after day. We need to trust our dreams and follow our instincts. If you don't, you'll only end up making other people's dreams come true. And stop waiting for the perfect moment. The only time to start creating the thing that is meaningful for you is now. And then on the bottom of the deck is unleash your inner power by doing the things you enjoy doing. Start with little moments and they'll give you more strength for the next one. The more you nurture your needs, the more powerful you become. All right. Now, let's see what we might need to surrender here. What in surrender to your passion fell out? What does this person need to surrender, spirit? Surrender to receiving support and love and surrender unhealthy relationships. So you're not allowing people to support you and to love you. You've closed yourself off and become repelled by other people. Like you're repelling people away from you. And then you have some unhealthy relationships. Maybe one in particular. It could be this twin flame thing that's got you all messed up, which it does a lot of times. All right, what else, Spirit? Surrender your frustration. Stop trying to be a people pleaser and surrender to prayer. Anything else? Surrender your attachments to results and accept what is. Accept the way things are right now, this very moment. And don't compare yourself to others because that will completely destroy you if you start comparing yourself to others. Keep your eyes on yourself. Focus on your strengths, your attractiveness, and your power. And what else, Spirit? You can't fix anyone. You have to... You have to surrender to divine timing. And I would say even ourselves, we can't even fix ourselves. Spirit has to fix us. And that's why we have to surrender. And surrender your ego and low self-esteem. And your need to always be right. And surrender to your creativity. And definitely surrender your belief in scarcity. Joy is what comes after. All right, messages for whoever's resonating with this video. Can I get encouraging messages, please? All right. Am I afraid to be seen? 
And when was the last time I couldn't stop laughing or smiling? So somehow you're afraid to be seen. The world doesn't want you to hold back any longer. It's time to shine your unique light on the world. You were made from love, and from love you are whole. There is no more hiding. There is no more shame. There is only truth. Live naked and free. Today's soul action. What parts of me do I hide so I can be socially accepted and fit in? Am I being authentic? Do I allow myself to be all of me? What do I need to feel so I can be safe to be seen? And journal your answers. And when was the last time I couldn't stop laughing or smiling? Go back to a moment when you laughed so hard you almost peed your pants or you did. Feel the laughter grow in your body, your cheeks hurting, and your eyes watering. Maybe there was even a snort or two. Laughter is healing. It reminds us to take life less seriously and find the joy in the littlest things. Note to self, laugh more often. Today's soul action, make somebody laugh today. And maybe you're a very funny person and whatever you've been going through has totally, totally, totally taking you out of character and you, now you're in this place of, of hiding like you've gone underground and you're not allowing anybody to see you anymore you're in isolation you've isolated yourself does my life have room for more pleasure or play in what areas are you lacking pleasure right now maybe in certain relationships or with work is it possible to shift the seriousness of life to experiencing a more creative, wild, and playful side of you? Today's soul action. What would happen if you added more play and laughter into your life? What area is lacking this right now? Take time to play. Let go of any need to produce anything. The Spirit is encouraging you to laugh and have fun and come out of this place of isolation that you've been hiding in. So you can be healthy again. Alright, I'm going to pull some tarot now. And I'm going to use this deck of cards. Why is the lovers here? See, this person has a choice. I have the two of cups and the ace of cups. Showing up. You're giving this person a choice. So they're needing to make a decision. You might be a masculine type of one, But you don't have to be. You might be dealing with one. Alright, why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? That's a Gemini. Because of a two of wands. A two of wands is about being at a crossroads. You're at a crossroads or you need to make a decision. You're not even at the crossroads. <laughs> You're not even at the crossroads. You need to decide to be at the crossroads. <laughs> Alright, why is temperance here? That's a Sagittarius card. Because of an eight of pentacles in reverse and a five of pentacles. Because somehow you lost your job. And it's caused you to be in the poorhouse. Alright, why is the world here? <laughs> wow! Damn it, boy! Look at there! Because you're about to hear about something new. A new job. A new opportunity. There's truth coming in your life about something new that you're going to have. Wow. All right. <laughs> Why is charity on the bottom of the deck? Because of you being real unhappy. Somebody's going to love you unconditionally when you're real unhappy. Outcome spirit. You're going to have the ability to give and receive again. You're going to be able to give and receive and have equality again. You might be a queen of swords. Beautiful. Beautiful. Any other messages for this person, Holy Spirit, while we have their attention? Do you have any other messages? Forget. You need to forget the Six of Cups in reverse. That's about forgetting something. And you need to be strong and heal. You need to forget something. Be strong and heal. Leo's here. A lot of emotion here. It might have something to do with the Queen of Cups. Cancer's here. You need to forget, heal, and be strong. Overcome this. Anything else, Spirit, before we close? It has something to do with the Three of Swords. 
healing from this heartache. It could be a king of pentacles that hurt you. Time to heal from this heartache and overcome this. So it looks like to me that there was a relationship that didn't work out. And that's what was like at the, the core of this. Whatever happened between you and this person got you off track. And Spirit is encouraging you to heal from this relationship. Alright, what spiritual gifts are operating here? Messages out of the spiritual gifts deck, Spirit. Something new. You're about to have a job. You're about to have a lot of new. Anything else? You're rising from these ashes like a phoenix. And you're going to turn your knowledge into wisdom also on the bottom of the deck. Healing for this person. I know that this could involve some entrapment for sure. I have pride. Letting go. Healing and don't play the victim. What else, spirit? Dreams and discover your life purpose. Anything else? Don't procrastinate. Don't procrastinate. Your phoenix rising again. And don't self-sabotage either. Alright, spirit. Can I get a message out of these for whoever might be resonating with this video? What message do you have? Be bold and make the first move. It's time for you to heal. You have to be responsible for your healing. Cardinal moon and balsamic moon. And surrender to the divine full moon. Any other messages out of here? Show the world the real you. A win-win outcome is forecast. That's about you hiding. And... Have faith in your dreams. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Spirit, how else can we get a message for this person? Any other messages? Alright. Let me get you one out of here. Oh, this one fell on the floor. Da Daring Dreamer. May I have a message for whoever might be resonating? One card, please, that'll give them exactly what they need. Wild and free. All good things are wild and free. All good things are wild and free. Number one, that's the fool, right? This is an important time in your life when you are being guided to lead from your heart. Even if it makes no sense to you or anyone else, or if your mind screams at you with fear and doubt, don't ignore what your heart is telling you. Give yourself the time and space that you need away from the noise and demands of the world and other people so that the quiet, sure voice of your heart can be heard. Then take courage and act on what you feel. Your heart is wise and worthy of your trust. Place your hand on your heart. Say to your heart, My heart, you are wild and free. I trust you to guide me. You know what is right for me and what is not meant to be. You are honest and wise. I love you. Take a deep breath and then imagine that you can breathe out through the front and back of your heart. Now, be gentle and relaxed. This allows your heart to let go of pain, doubt, or insecurity. And remember that it is wild and free. And then you have Gelato Goddess coming in the future, which you don't see. <laughs> Number five, have you given another the power to influence your sense of self-worth or your direction in life? Choose with care who you allow to get close to you and to guide you. It's obvious and yet easy to forget that if we accept guidance or influence from another, we want to make sure that they are living the kind of life and being the kind of person that we aspire to be. You can learn from and be inspired by others, but you must stay true to yourself. Do not allow anyone else's voice to become more important to you than the divine voice within your own heart. And say aloud with confidence, I trust, love, and respect all the different parts of me to work together as I live my most creative, honest, and beautiful life. I choose to share myself with those that love and respect all of me. And please be careful what you allow yourself to be influenced by, especially on platforms like social media. And always, always, always 
make a decision based on what's in your heart and in your mind and that you come up with with spirit, not on readings or any other advice. It always has to be from spirit, okay? And that that's because you have to live with the decisions that you make. Uh, can I get a missile spirit? E as in Edna, C as in Charles, D as in Denny, R as in Ray, J as in Joan, L as in Linda, Y as in Yellow. F as in Francis, M as in Martha, I as in Isaiah, T as in T Tammy, S as in Stephanie, L as in Laura, Z as in Zelda. B is in boy, R is in rock, F is in Francis, R is in rock, P is in Paul, E is in Edna, O is in Oscar. F is in Frank, M is in Mary, W, Q is in Queen, A is in Alice, C is in Cat, P is in Patricia. Q again. G is in good, A is in apple, E is in egg, K is in Kelly, V is in Vicky, D is in dog. All right, can I please get trinkets for this reading? Can I get trinkets for whoever might be resonating with this reading? Thank you so very much. I have dream, hope, trust, love, dream, hope, trust, love. <laughs> I have a marble. Maybe you're finding them. I have a tennis racket or a racket ball racket with a ball. Wow, I have a bat and a ball. Maybe you play a lot of sports. I have a crown for that queen. I have a big old elephant. I have Susan B. Anthony. Maybe you're into silver dollars. I have a seahorse they make for life. I have another crown for the queen. I have a butterfly. I have a house. Maybe you need a home to live in. I have a key with a heart. I have a dolphin. A family's love is forever. And this one says, it's hard for me to read. It says, one conception and make ourselves another. Something gives you one conception and we make ourselves another. And then a flower, that's like about thinking for yourself and not letting other people give you the concepts to believe. Two palm trees. I have a bone fish. Maybe you're into surfing or maybe you like fish or maybe that's a Christian symbol of some sort. I have a mermaid or whale tail. A hand holding a heart that says love. I have a fancy heart with a cross in it. Jesus in your heart. I have a doggy paw, a pegasus, a cross, a windmill. Every journey starts with one step. Sorry for the interruption. I love you, infinity. A hand for intuition. A rose, high rose, or maybe you like roses. I have a coin. Maybe you're into cryptocurrency or maybe you collect old money. I have a gear. So money might be a mechanic. You might change oil. I have a tree of life or a family tree. I have a crescent moon with a heart. I have a star. A money sign. I'm sorry, that was not a money sign. <coughs> It was a music note. Maybe you're trying to make music and money at the same time. I have a flower, a teddy bear, and a baby foot. Maybe you have a baby. Alright, can I get you to get some this way? Might be time for you to take that first step. That could have been representative of you taking the first step. Alright, I have a music note with a skull. An angel. Another identical angel. An angel wing, a tower, maybe you live in one. The love between a grandmother and granddaughter is forever. Drive safe, I need you here with me. A lotus flower, a cactus, um, rose quartz in the shape of a heart. A light bulb, never, never give up, no matter where. 
give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. And every fair from fair sometimes declines William Shakespeare. Believe in love. I have three infinity signs here. A little hand for intuition. Maybe you have a child who's intuitive. A horse. Cherries. An anchor. And a maple or marijuana leaf. Alright, that was the reading. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope and pray that you will find the healing and the peace that you need. And also this job opportunity and this truth that you need. And if you need someone to talk to, I'm here. I'm always available to listen. And I love you guys. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and support me in any way that you can so that I'll know that what I'm doing is useful. God bless you. Bye-bye.